how I created this bushy and healthy looking hanging pot of tangled hard vines only in 6 weeks. Also going to share a unique propagation technique that will give you 90% success with any type of binding plants cuttings. And with this, hello plant lovers, I am Nishat and welcome to Plantology. I had a pot of tangled hard vine but that is not that much healthy. The plant is vining out but not that much beautiful to look at. So first, I took cuttings out of it. Here, I have taken around 7 to 8 inches long, 6 to 7 healthy cuttings. I have taken a shallow clay pot. As growing media, I have taken an equal mixture of cocoa peat and sand. Here using this potting mix, you can grow any type of plant cuttings. This media is arable, well draining, so cuttings easily can develop roots. Now here, I tried a unique technique to propagate the tangled hard cuttings. So first, remove some of the lower leaves. And also some side leaves. And simply lay the cutting on the soil surface like this and then you can secure it using sticks as I'm doing or thin wire. Now the thing is we are going to plant these cuttings shallowly so what will be happen most of the nodes of a stem will come in contact with growing media and it will encourage multiple root growth. Also through this a cutting will able to push several growths. So I planted around 5 cuttings in this pot and then I watered properly. After planting cuttings in soil, we have to be careful about soil moisture because the root development of a cutting is highly influenced by soil moisture. Also this tangled hard plant is a type of succulent, so too much water will rot the stems. So we need to keep the soil on the drier side. Check the soil every couple of days by inserting a stick. If it is not sticking any soil, then water thoroughly, otherwise skip watering. Keep the pot in a bright place until the cuttings showing new growth. After 12 days, almost all cuttings are rooted in and you can see it pushes new growths. Now when the cuttings will be showing new growth, we need to gradually shift them to a sunny area. So I kept the plant in a place where it got 2-3 to three hours of the morning sun. And with time, I shifted the pot in an area where it got 3-4 to four hours of the morning sun. And this is the update after 6 weeks. I did not add any fertilizer, only provided sufficient light and water. And it has pushed lots of new growths. The leaves are so thick and the plant overall looking so shiny and bushy. At this point, you can add a handful of compost. So that's all. If you have any questions or suggestion, feel free to share in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.